Hi YouTubers. Let's be as clear as we can on copper, the FTC and YouTube. If you are watching this video it most likely means you already know a bit about it, so I won't explain the basics. I'll put links in the info box to this video for several other videos that explain things at length should you wish to view them. OK, I'd better say that this is just my opinion, based on the information I have found and having had answers from both the FTC and YouTube to some of the questions. First off, copper is a big deal for all YouTubers, no matter where they come from. Second, don't panic. Lots has changed since copper became a buzzword back in November. Listen up. YouTube gives us the ability to share our videos with the whole world. That is amazing, and it's free as well. But with this huge reach, now comes some responsibility. American law says that companies cannot harvest data from kids. This data is the whole issue around copper. It's nothing to do with content being suitable for kids. Please don't assume this is the issue here. It is not. It is about YouTube and Google serving persistent cookies on everyone that watches videos on their platform. These collect data and allow targeted ads to be served based on this. It is illegal to do this to kids under 13 in the United States, and in fact GDPR here in Europe has similar restrictions. YouTube introduced the For Kids or Not For Kids audience option for our videos. For kids videos will not have these data gathering cookies served on them. Not for kids will continue to do so. If your videos are not specifically directed to kids, then it's okay to go ahead and mark them as not for kids. But you must mark them one way or the other, or set your whole channel preferences to do this. The Federal Trade Commission have indicated they will pay attention to our intent when assessing if we are in compliance with copper or not. Two of the ways they can do this is to read our channel's About section, so it is sensible to include a short statement of intent there saying your videos are not directed to kids and that you are targeting a general audience. Don't say mixed audience, as this is the same as for kids. Another way to show your intent is to have a small pre-video statement such as this video is not directed to kids at the start of all new uploads. Several people who have been in touch with the FTC have been told that they are not seeking to take down and fine small grey area channels. They are after the clearly directed to kids channels with millions of subscribers. Big business. That's not to say they will not ever change that tactic which is why we need to be sensible of the issue and take steps to protect our channels now. Don't, for example, refer to model trains as toys, as this could lead to issues under copper, as videos about toys are directed to kids. The FTC are now considering over 170,000 comments and communications about this very subject, and may be making an emergency enforcement policy statement. YouTube is a US company and your videos will be served to US citizens, which is why you must comply with copper. Hope that clears up a few things. It is serious, but by being sensible and proactive we can manage it. And keeping an eye on announcements from YouTube and the FTC, we can be one step ahead. It's not such a big price to pay for all the amazing things YouTube brings, is it? Cheers then.